In this video, we'll see how you can easily save Outlook emails to Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams is excellent for internal chat-based communications, but it can also be great for managing external communications in the form of Outlook emails. The way you can achieve this is by combining Microsoft Teams with MacroView. In this video, we'll be using MacroView DMF, but you can also use MacroView Message which is a subset of MacroView DMF that runs in Microsoft Outlook. Here we are in Microsoft Teams. There's a team here called MacroView Consulting. It's got two channels. If we look in the General channel and its Files tab, we see that there are three project folders. Drilling into the Acme Inc. project folder, we see some files. When we choose the Email Messages view, we see the emails that have been saved for this project including their attributes such as subject, to, from, and so on. By double-clicking on an email, we can retrieve it and view its body. Now we've relocated to Microsoft Outlook. We can see that the MacroView software has been installed because there's this MacroView pane on the right of our Outlook window. Here's the MacroView Consulting Team site that we were looking at via the Teams UI a moment ago. Here is the Acme Inc. project folder. And the, here's the email messages view showing the same saved emails as we saw when we were in the Teams UI. We can click to get a formatted preview of an email. And the preview also shows us the attachment that's part of that saved email. If we right click on an email and choose open, that email is retrieved from the SharePoint online storage used by Teams and opened in Microsoft Outlook. We can now reply and forward as per normal and we note that the attachment is still part of the email. Now that we're back in the inbox, we can drag and drop to save a new email to our project area in Teams. The saved email has been marked as saved to Teams. If we click on that project area, the newly saved email is visible, including its attachment. And if we go to the email messages view, the attributes of the email have been recorded automatically. Now back in the Teams UI and using that same email messages view, our newly saved email and its attributes are visible here as well. Well, our MacReview Consulting team site is obviously able to do a good job of managing Outlook emails. Let's take a look at how we make that happen. When it creates a new team, Microsoft Teams creates a new site collection in the SharePoint online part of your Office 365 tenant. That team site contains a documents library and in turn a general folder. To enhance that team site so that it can manage emails properly, you use the MacroView Solution Provisioning Tool. This extends that existing Teams document library so that it has additional metadata columns and views for managing emails. Then, when the user saves an email, the MacroView software which has been installed in Outlook We'll save that email to that Teams area, automatically recording metadata and automatically naming the email to prevent duplicate copies. The MacReview software in Outlook also helps to view existing emails and the new email messages view that MacReview has provisioned in that Teams document library also helps to view those emails when you're in the Teams UI. MacroView Solution Provisioning is an extension available for MacroView DMF and MacroView Message. As we've seen, it extends an existing document library, including a library in Teams, with the metadata and views that enable effective management of Outlook emails. For more information about MacroView Solution Provisioning, see this article in the MacroView Help Center, or check this video in the MacroView channel on YouTube. Let's take another look at how we can drag and drop to save an email to Microsoft Teams. This time, we'll split the attachment off and save it separately. We're being prompted for metadata in respect of the attachment. Let's choose Analysis. And now it's saving both the email and the attachment. If we click on the area that we dropped in, we can sort by receive time in order to group the attachments with the emails to which they belong. Here's the attachment. And with the same receive time, here's the email that contained that same attachment. We can also save an email to Microsoft Teams by right-clicking and choosing Save Message to Teams.
The Macro View dialog displays so that we can choose our destination location. The email is now saved in Teams. Another way to save is by opening the email and clicking the Save Message button. Again, the Macro Review dialog displays so that we can choose our destination location. And that email is now also saved in Teams. Macro Review also allows you to save Outlook emails to Teams in bulk. Let's drag all these to the Acme Project folder. You can click the Hide button and go on working in Outlook whilst that bulk save proceeds in the background. The save is now finished and the Save to Teams markers are now present on all those saved emails. We've seen how MacroView enables you to save Outlook emails to Teams manually. It also allows you to save emails to Teams automatically. Here's an email we're sending to Colin. When we hit the Send button and we go to the Send Items, we see that our sent email has automatically been saved to Teams. This automatic save was performed by a personal email filing rule. Here is the resulting email that's been stored in that area in Teams. Personal email filing rules can also automate the saving of emails as they are received, either into your main inbox or into the inbox in one of your secondary mailboxes. If you have the Macro Corporate Email Filing optional module, you'll be able to drag and drop an email and have the filing tag that represents that saved location automatically appended to the subject of the email. If you now forward that email, that filing tag will cause a copy of the sent email to be automatically filed to the same area. Emails received later in the same conversation will also be filed automatically to the same location in Teams. Now here's a situation that occurs frequently when you're introducing a new Teams-based solution for managing your emails. We've got emails stored in a folder on our C drive. We can drag and drop to upload them into the BetterCore project area within Teams. Again, we can continue working while that save proceeds in the background. Now that the emails have been uploaded, we can select them and right click and standardize in order to update their metadata so that it's the same as if they've been saved to Teams originally using the Macro View software. We can now use the email messages view to see the metadata attributes of those newly uploaded emails. Well, during this video, we've seen a number of ways of saving Outlook emails to Teams. We've done that by dragging and dropping, by right-clicking, by clicking a Save Message button. We've also done it as part of bulk saving multiple emails with that save performed in the background. We've saved emails to Teams automatically using personal email filing rules and by also using corporate email filing tags as the emails were sent and received. And lastly, we've seen how you can save an email that's been loaded to a Windows folder and then standardizing its metadata. Use these details for more information about saving Outlook emails to Teams and for Mac review solutions generally.